Hello, my name is Chris, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to export a DXF file out of HFSS and import it into ADS to convert it into a Gerber file. <clears throat> and for the example, I'm using a Vivaldi antenna that I designed, and I'm assuming that this antenna or whatever you're exporting, it's uh, ready to be fabricated, so you can send it off to have it manufactured on a PCB. So. To start, you're going to want to go to Modeler. Well, actually, first thing, yeah, go to Modeler. And you have to check your units. Make sure whatever you're importing into ADS, you want to make sure that matches up. Um, so we are in millimeters. So let's go, or you can just call this V. And we will export it to the desktop. Once that's done, uh, we are done with HFSS, so we can move out of here. Now we're in ADS, and we're starting a new workspace. So we'll just call this uh, create new workspace. And what we want to do is we want to create a new layout. We can call it Aldi. And once you do that, remember we were in millimeters, so click OK, and that will generate a layout for us. And from here, we want to import our DXF file. So move on over to import, choose our DXF, browse for the file. We set that on our desktop. I think we called it V right here, DXF file, and click open. And from there, we go to options, and this is important. We want to be in millimeters, so keep it there. This layers folder just shows the layers that we're importing. So for my PCB, we had, uh, or for my antenna, we had a top layer, the substrate, and then the bottom layer of copper. So that's those three layers. Click OK, and we can import. Give it one moment. I think it's creating a new layout. And yeah, called it Vivaldi. And, oh wait, nope, it's gonna be the one that's called V. So, there we go. And to simulate my antenna, I had to create an airbox around it, and that's what this thing is. We can just delete that. And this is going to be what we turn into our Gerber file, but we got some a few more things we have to do to it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna want to do is view our layers because right now they're hiding. Uh, so if we go to our docking window, layers window, and there we go, we can see all of our layers right here. And the next step is we're gonna want to draw an outline or a perimeter around our um, antenna. So to do that we have to add a new layer. So if you go to technologies, layers, definitions, we can add a new layer here. So that's what I did. We're gonna call that outline. And for its process this is gonna basically just be a boundary. So we're gonna go bounding area, click OK, and you can see right here that popped up as a new layer and we're gonna make it something bright so we can see it and there we go so now that we're under that outline layer we're gonna want to go to create new polyline and I have this section selected it snaps to the edge so if you see as I move close to it it'll snap right to the corner so I'm gonna click once and boom and that should have created a perimeter. Um, one thing I want to show you guys is these buttons are pretty useful. It'll, if you click this, it'll disable all the layers that you don't have selected. And then this one will make them selectable, like none of them will be able to be selected. Um, so it'll deselect all of them. This one selects all of them. And then this one shows which ones you're able to view and not view. But if it's selected, it won't uh, really you'll be able to still see it. So if we zoom in here, we can see that our outline is right on top of where the antenna was. Okay, so um, like I said before, there was 
three layers to this. I have the substrate, the um, two conducting plates up here, so that's going to be the top layer, and then the microstrip feed line, uh, that is the bottom layer. Um, now we really don't care about the substrate layer, so I'm going to delete that one. Um, so if I click, ooh, which one was that? It was layer two. I'm just going to delete that layer, and there we go, that's deleted. Next, we're going to create two new layers. We're going to create the top layer and the bottom layer. And we're creating these so the PCB manufacturers know when they get the file which one's going to be the top and which one's going to be the bottom. So we're going to call this green one the top. I think that was uh, layer two. And then layer three, we're going to call the bottom. Uh, so to create a new layer, we do the same thing as before. Go to layer definitions, add a layer. We're gonna call this top. And this is gonna be a conducting layer. So we're gonna keep it on conductor. And any conducting layer, you have to bind it to itself. So just call it top. And there's that. And we're gonna add another one called bottom. That'll be a conductor. And we have to bind it to itself. Click OK and now you'll see those two layers show up in here. The next step is we actually need to get the properties window up here because it's hidden right now. So if we go to docking windows and go to properties window, it pops up. So we mentioned this layer number, oh wait, no, it's not layer number two, V. This V layer, the green layer, we need to switch this to the top layer. So if we double click, Oh wait, sorry. If we just click it right here, um, it'll show under layer, it's under V. We need to put it on the top. So if we click top, select over here, boom, it turns gray. And if you notice over here, this one has a gray color. Let's switch that gray color to let's say blue. Okay, so that blue layer is gonna be the top. So we're gonna do the same thing to the bottom, which was layer three gonna go here click assign it to bottom and that should do it and we want to create that to be a different color let's make it bright green okay and that's gonna take care of those two layers the next two layers we're gonna add are the solder mass layers and by default, ADS already has one solder mask layer. And if you don't know what a, a solder mask is, in, for PCBs, you ship off your Gerber file, and wherever this solder mask is, uh, it will not put solder mask on the PCB. And that's just a thin layer that goes on the PCB, and uh, solder doesn't stick to it. So uh, if you click solder mask will be on that layer and we don't want any solder mask on our antenna um, this is what's called a bare bone antenna if you have that option to order through your pcb manufacturer you can do that and you can ignore this part um, so we can add that layer let's reduce oh never mind the transparency is already pretty dim okay so we added that layer and we also need to add a solder mass layer to the back. So we actually need to create that one. Um, so we'll add a new layer. We'll call it solder mass bottom. And its role is going to be a solder mask. And since it's not a conductor, you don't need to bind it to itself. Um, so make sure it's selected. We will attach to that edge and boom. Reduce the transparency or increase it. And that's that. One last thing you could do to your PCB is you can add a silk screen and that's just writing on top of the PCB. So for me, for my project, uh, oops, I added uh, some writing to it. So make sure you're under silk screen um, click the text and then you can do like add your name 
Uh, the name, once you do that, by default it's really tiny. So if you click Escape and then click on it, you'll be able to uh, change the font size. So let's say like 12. Let's see what that does. Boom. And you can change the font, the font size, things like that. So, so the last thing we have to do is export the design. So you can disable everything and then just select the layers you want to export. So we want the, the back solar mask, the bottom, the top, the outline. We had also a silk screen there and the other solder mask. And I think that was it. And then from there, just click um, export. So you go up to here. Mother fuck. Click export. And we want to do a Gerber file. And our destination, we can create a new folder anywhere. Doesn't matter. New folder, call it Gerbs. Okay, put that on the desktop. Selected that. Uh, make sure this is in millimeters and there are no drills because we didn't drill any holes through. Make sure you have all your layers you want. They're all positive. And I think we're good to go. Click OK and export. The last thing you can do, you can go to the folder which you created on your desktop. Uh, you'll see all the Gerber files here. You will most likely have to run a DFM report with whatever P, uh, PCB manufacturer you're going through. Uh, so all you'll do is you'll highlight all those, compress them into zip, and upload them that way. And the same thing goes for uploading them to the PCB manufacturer. So I think that's everything. Uh, that concludes the tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I hope all your Gerber files come out okay. See ya.